uh, like the introduction had already stated it so we have no other introduction but rather we are starting straight away on how to insert footnotes and endnotes in Microsoft Word and we are going to use this document and we are starting with how to insert a footnote then we, afterwards we shall go to endnotes. When you look at the two, the two seemingly look to be the same but then when you look at them they have a slight difference though all of them explain more on a certain item in the in the document. All of them explain more on the same, I mean on the items of the document and whereby when you look at the footnote, the footnote basically the difference is that the footnote appears on the bottom of the page that that uh, word we're explaining is appearing from while the end notes are listed at the end of the paper or the document it's always in the last page of the document all of them will be listed at the end of it but the footnote appears immediately on that very at the end of that very uh, document i mean that page at the end of that very page that we are looking at and that is the difference so the difference in simple terms we are saying a footnote uh, appears immediately in the very at the bottom of the very page meanwhile the end note appears at the end of the document or at the end of the work that you are working on so that's the slight difference now straight away to how to insert the footnote basically we shall see where we want to insert the footnote or to make more explanation from and uh, maybe we can look at it in uh, maybe we can see in this one the, in the second paragraph here we are saying that the intern the internee worked in four departments of food production food beverage love skipping and front maybe what we want to explain is the internee you are using the footnote so we shall click uh, at the end of the, the word internee and then after clicking on it you make sure that the cursor is there and then we shall now go straight away to references from references we are talking about the footnote and then there is insert end note uh, footnote but uh, here is where which shows the insert the footnote so we shall click on this and when you click on that it comes at the end of that page remember from here it shows three pages and uh, here is page one so the the internal word which we're explaining is in page one and now the footnote has come at the bottom of that page where the word we're explaining is so so maybe now here we can now explain the word internal uh, maybe this is a student who is practicing their program their program in a workplace so that is an explanation we have so it means we have already explained the footnote of the internee so when we go back here it shows already footnote one and then when we go back to that text that we are talking about here also it shows one so when you want to go there you can just click on this and then it takes you to that area so that is that and assuming maybe there is also another word maybe we can have two footnotes here maybe maybe also we want to talk about maybe you can read something else while in food production kitchen department the internee was assigned to clean utensils maybe we can also explain the utensils maybe we want to explain the utensils we can also put it there and then we come back to insert footnote when you come now it shows now two it's already numbering now utensils maybe maybe we can say this includes then maybe we're explaining saucepans uh, plates and maybe others so that is the explanation so that when you go back there the other one also shows now that we have the second footnote so these are the footnotes we have and they number themselves from there within the same page if it was another page it would show the same thing but maybe okay we can have one last one maybe front office we can explain front office here we can go to footnote now you realize it's three but it has come to the third i mean the second page that's now where our footnote is so we can now explain front office this is the that welcomes that welcomes guests that welcomes 
case so that is that so we realize that is how the footnotes look like then uh, other than the footnotes we can also now look at the end notes so that we can see the difference the footnotes appear like we say it appears in that very particular page now we can also have an end note maybe we can have uh, maybe from where we can start from maybe we want to explain the word chobe safari lodge so it's something like that so we can come here and then we want to explain it more so we can now want to put it in an end note so we can put it there and then we come to insert end note when you click on insert end notes it takes us to the last very last page of the of the document so this is a tourism this is a tourism hotel that serves both local tourists and international so you realize that is the difference Toze, this end note is in the first page but it has come or it has been exchanged from the, the, the last page so that is the difference and that is how your things will be the the end notes the footnotes will be just immediately at the end of that and then the other one which we are calling the the, the end notes come down here these are different things this one has started with roman numero one and this one has started i mean these ones are started with the, the numerical numbers of that so assuming maybe we can again get from also this page maybe you want to talk about this as an end note we can still add a name that it shows roman number two this is a reference maybe something like that so that is that and uh, uh, that is how we work on in this two things of a footnote and end note and uh, i'm very sure you have gotten the scale and the idea on how to differentiate the two and how to use them with that i'm so much grateful and i must say Thank you for watching and continue watching other tutorials as well in our channel. Thank you. Good day.